Aloha, I'm Jeannie Bitts, and this is Teata, which means bearer of the dawn in the Maori culture and also in um, Chickasaw. Um, it means first rays of dawn and bearer of the dawn. And in the Maori culture, there is a story of a teata that was a water protector. And the inspiration of this piece, this is an actual canoe, a double-hulled sailing canoe that is powered on coconut oil and solar power. And it's part of an educational program teaching cultures and bringing cultures together to learn how to <clears throat> work better with nature and um, more in union with the elements and bringing cultures together so that there's not the divide of, of skin color. There's bringing many people together to uh, work towards a future that is more unified. And the inspiration of this piece came from Anela Gutierrez at HOCVS. So this piece, this canoe, is inspired and in support of the educational program that they have at HOCVS, teaching our keiki, the next generations, to have a respect with the foundation of the knowledge passed down from generation to generation in the Hawaiian culture. So it's an absolutely beautiful foundation of information that they share. And they use a double-hold sailing canoe. My daughter has been on it, and it's part of their floating classroom that the kids get to be out in nature experiencing. And also, um, as an aspect of going forward into the future, integrating, um, integrating technology. Because, like I said, this canoe ha runs on coconut oil and solar power. <laughs> and so this entire piece is inspired by that work that they're doing. And that's something that's a real honor for me. And being part of the Reaching Out program is to create work that is a collaboration with people in our community. Because there are people in our communities, wherever we are, who are doing amazing work to make change for the future and to bring cultures together for a better future. And HOCVS is a group that's doing powerful work in that, in that vein and um, teaching, well, all ages, but their keiki programs are kind of amazing. And portions of this are going to go to support their, um, their, their program there in teaching future generations. So all of this, um, symbology, every one of these symbols has meaning in the oceanic cultures. And because I like the concept of bringing cultures together, it's all of the oceanic cultures. It's not, it's not just one. And in Hawaiian culture and in these other cultures, there is the chants and the poetry, especially the Hawaiian poetry is the one that I'm familiar with, that starts out with a simplistic invitation and usually stories based in nature and very experiential. So a lot of their stories that they, that they pass on are based in experiences from the tribes passed from generation to generation and all of the symbology has meaning. So the poetry has simple words and simple meaning and the longer you spend and the more willing you are to open yourself up to the meaning the deeper experience you can have in understanding our place in nature and a way of working together with our fellow humans and our environment. So this piece for me, I absolutely love the idea of it being a visual poetry. So all of these symbols I have orchestrated to tell a story and every bit of information and how this overlaps and overlaps these pieces and how they intertwine and move and the into the sun and out of the sun. A lot of them wind around and come back because this information and this experience is timeless. And these people are integral to passing this information on to future generations. So this is, for me and my goal, it's not just a painting, it's a piece of visual poetry. And all of it telling the story of water protectors, bearer of the dawn, first rays of dawn. Um, this symbol here is, is birth or new beginnings. And 
a happy accident when I started putting that on there, they just kind of moved around and got this amazing feel of a three-dimensional sun coming up in the sky. And some of the symbols that come in here that I think would be attributes that tell the story of how to work together going forward, these are ad, ads marks, which are the marks made when you're building a canoe. And the canoe symbolizes adventures and paths traveled, journeys, journeys traveled safely and working together in community. Because a canoe is very much better when there's more people in it and you're not just a lone boater. <laughs> so this actual canoe, the sail on it, everything that's in the dark brown here is the actual images that's on the sail. And then I just continued in the gold, kind of the magic of the integration and the experience. I love the word Hanai because I have lots of adopted family, people who have adopted me here. And I was thinking of that when I was creating this because here's the, the rebirth, the new beginnings symbol again, and new family members coming together and moving towards this, this future, this new experience. This symbol here is a game that was like chess that was played by the Hawaiians. And this is the yam leaf, which is prosperity. This is the uh, ipu, the gourd, which holds spiritual, mental, and physical mana. So they kept food and water in the, in the gourds as storage. And then it is also symbolized uh, to hold the food and spiritual mana that we feed ourselves also. Something that you might notice if you look at the other paintings I've done, I really kept the, the symbols more linear and this one I very much did transitions and that was a million color shifts that were more difficult but I wanted it to feel like that sun, the sun rising and so in that I've got this, all of these flow and twist and turn and come around because life's path and these opportunities that we have to learn these beautiful uh, experiences that can bring us to a deeper interaction with nature and the world around us and our fellow humans is a twisting path. For me it has been, it's not been a linear journey and a lot of times those uh, plot twists have been a little bit terrifying but have led me to places that are more beautiful than I ever could have imagined and on that note, this symbol right here specifically is the twisting path that leads to wisdom. And that's this one. And, it's, and it goes all the way through the painting. This is the Zenith Star for Tahiti. And so these are all pieces, so ah ah. And this, these are all parts of the constellation that um, they would be using to navigate to Tahiti. One of my favorite symbols in the Hawaiian uh, language is the surfer, which is to glide. So if you, if you have the opportunity to look closely at the painting, one of the things that I took the most delight in was this is the only image that's actually accurate. That one right there, the rest of the surfers I just had fun with. And those surfers, I've surfed a little bit enough to know that it's a lot of work and getting into a wave is it takes a lot of skill and it takes a lot of work and then it takes letting go and, and riding and working with nature. And so that's why I thought those, those two are actually very key in the design of this piece. They're woven very clearly. They're coming together and going apart because sometimes it's time to let glide and let go. Sometimes it's time to be tenacious and sometimes those two are together. And so they are very, uh, they were the first ones that I put in and wove through the entire piece. And, and wove everything else around that because moving into the future for me have been very key. Being invited to have a deeper experience with the Hawaiian culture with Kimokeo and HSEVS and Anella and then um, having my kids down there and seeing especially Natalie who spent a lot of time in the canoe with them how much she learned and blossomed and the amazing young person that she has developed into. I recognize the extreme value that was brought to our family from, from the Hawaiian culture. Aloha, I'd like to introduce Kimokeo Kapahulehua. Ah, Kako! Um, so he's 
in charge of Hawaiian Outrigger Voyaging Canoe Society. And that is the program that hosts Ho'ulu Kaike, which is, the premise is? The premise is Ho'ulu Kaike is uh, teaching the knowledge of the va'a. So here, Ho'ulu Kaike program is uh, teaching the canoe. Uh, and this is about the, the paddling canoe. So the hoi kava'a, yeah? And so it's a single hall. But now a Ho'olo Kaiki program is moved on to Ho'olo kava'a, the sailing canoe. And that's what we do. We do um, teaching the single va'a, which is paddling. The father of canoe is called Manu Iu, the kani, the feed and clothe and protect the ha'ohana, the family. The body of the canoe is kino. Malamo your body, you can take care of your family. The splash card, Kelaka Iko Mao Kupuna. Our Kupuna showed us the way. We just got to follow. The seed is called Noho. Kupono, who am I? What am I? What are you doing? And where are I taking my family? The Yaku in the Ama. Pono, be truthful. It's the balance of life. Be truthful to your honor. The Kaula. The Kaula is made out of dry coconut senef. The smaller and the finest of the sand is to make a fire. The shell is our knife. The shell is a cup. The juice we eat, drink, the meat we eat. The leaves we make our clothes in a holly. The trunk, the pot we drum, and then we use the post for the holly. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, we sustainable with the neil, the coconut, the pipio, the, the pipio, the brace, holoi. Ho'oloi, listen to Napoi Kalani, the people of the heavens. Ho'oloi, na kamuana, na ho'oloi, na konua. They say to all of us, take care of my heaven, take care of my ocean, take care of my land, and pass it on to the haumana of Ho'olu Kaiki, the students of growing with the knowledge. The back is Manuhope, the female. She's the most sacred one. She's the spiritual one. She bring out her baby and bring the new generation to come. So in Ho'olo Kaiki, they have learned Hoi Kava'a, the paddling of the canoe. Now, Ho'olo Kaiki going on to the sailing canoe. And with the sailing canoe, as you know, we're in the wind. And it is said, Pa mai, pa mai, kamakani, wu hiloe, elave aku ka ipunui, ho mai ka ipuli ilii. This chant was taught by uncle, by Kumukele Itawa. He just passed. So now he's left his secret with Ho'ulu Kaiki. The day will carry on the lesson of Kumukele Itawa. Bringing cultures together, and the name of that canoe is Teata, which is bearer of the dawn, and that has ties to water protectors, and so, te so it's multiple cultures working together to teach future generations to care for our planet and with the canoe, with the va'a as the classroom. So as you can see, what she said about the canoe, the ata, in the partnership, we're gonna learn more from Cesario or other navigators and other integration between their youth and our youth. So, my kailoa. And that that canoe, so some of the canoes that you've been looking at run on solar power and coconut oil? It was founded by Okeanos Foundation, and that is Dita Pomat. And he designed it to run out of solar panels. And the solar panels generate that to make the electrical engine. But in this new model that he has, that we would wish to harvest someday if we have the funds, it has a hybrid where you can run on coconut oil. So they don't really need an escort, run by wind power, run by solar power, and now run by coconut oil. How about that? This is the future canoe that's going on now, and has been going on with Okeanos Foundation. So we just trying to integrate what was yesterday, and how do we move forward with the natural power of the wind, the natural power of the sun, and the natural power of using green power, which is like coconut oil. So, Ho'olo Kaigi is growing with the knowledge, with the ocean, with the heavens, with the land, and with the va'a. 
whole kaba. I think it's wonderful. <laughs>